Hey everybody, uh, hope you can hear me okay, welcome. My name's Stratagemerald, I'm, uh, I'm your substitute streamer for today. I, uh, I, I'm not used to Kyle's setup here. Normally I'm streaming on Cruft, which is, uh, an invite-only streaming service. Um... I am. I, I gotta use a lot of his buttons here. I forgot to press this one. Kachi. I don't. I don't get that. Um. Generally, I uh, I like to play Go and Uno, the two classic games. Uh, Kyle asked me not to play that today. I'm sorry. There's an echo. Are you getting an echo? No echo. Okay. No, this happens a lot to me when I'm streaming on Cruft, too. Somebody will just say, like, one thing. Like, if one person just puts the word echo into chat, like, you just panic immediately. Especially when you're using someone else's streaming setup. So, yeah, Kyle's out getting his teeth whitened today. He asked me not to play my normal games. Uh, he So I googled the best video games of all time. And Half-Life 2 came up. I've never... I've never played this game before. But... I Obviously, like, I know who Gordon Freeman is. Um, obviously, like, I know... Who G-Man is. I know there's head crabs And a crowbar... I know that, like, there's going to be some, like, interdimensional travel. But, no, I don't know too much else about Half-Life 2 or, like, really what we're about to experience. Um, there is Uno in this. Then, and then generally, like, here's my thing. Here's my thing. I don't like to play games that aren't against other humans. You know, I like to impose my will against another human mind. Generally, I don't like to play games where I'm not conquering someone else's will. And when you're just when you're playing a computer game like this, you're just kind of like walking down a hill that someone else designed for you. They want you to win. Um so that's kind of just where I'm coming in from. Bam bam, thanks for being an 18 monther. Uh, Cruft has only been around for three months, so I'm not used to seeing people who have been subscribed for so long. Um, but yeah, I guess we should just start. Who owns Cruft? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I just, you know, I, it, just, it seemed cool. I got the invite. It's an invite-only streaming service. Uh... So, like, I, you know, I got the email. If you ever get the email, I do recommend it. Cruft is really cool. There, there's 4K streaming. Uh, lots of cool people there. Lots of cool emotes. Just got here. Do you mind recapping everything one more time? Uh, yeah, I get, hi. Uh, I'm filling in for Kyle today, who's getting his teeth whitened all day. My name is Stratagemerald. I uh, typically stream Uno and Go, the two greatest games of all time. Uno, I'm very good at. I'll win 9 out of 10 Uno matches. It's mostly about strategy. It's mostly about outmaneuvering your human opponents. Go, I win about 3 out of 10 times. I have a lot to learn about Go. I have a really hard time, you know, grasping the rules. Uh, Dr. Palpatine, thanks for being a 27-monther. Uh, I think we should start this game. Do I have an OnlyFans? Yeah, of course. Okay, so, uh, new game. Chapter 1. Start new game. Should I be nervous? Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. No, this is G-Man. I know this is G-Man. 
not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. When did they make this? That was embarrassing. That literally made me cringe. Who's my favorite Looney Tune? Um, Gossamer? Do you know that one? Well, end of the line. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> you have to understand. You have to understand. I mostly play Uno and Go. So it took me a second to realize which button made me move forward. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or Passing through this is an incredible environment. Zone. Welcome to City 17. It's safer here. City 17. This stuff, it's all I have left. <laughs> all right, I'm moving. Jeez. Can you pick things up? Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest you can. remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected this to is establish cool. my administration here in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my This home. is very cool. And so, whether you are here to stay or pass So most of the most of the time I play Uno, you don't really get to choose which part of the table you put the cards down on. That's all very much automated. This is incredible. Were you the only ones on that train? Stop it. I have to be honest with you, when that robot takes a photo of me, it makes me cringe. Okay, so I assume this is the way forward. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. Can I put this back in his face? Oh my god. So do you know how I talked about how when I play Uno, I like to impose my will upon my opponents? This is a close approximation of that. This is a simulation of the feeling I get, the rush of playing a reverse card. Look how sad this man is now. How do you crouch? It's not C. It's not C. Alt F4. I know better than that. I know it's not Alt F4. Welcome to City 17. You know, 
It's control. Okay. It's not control. And the ones that do arrive. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my Dr. Breen again. I was hoping I'd seen the last thing in City 14. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome. Wow. City 17. It's safer here. This is incredibly dynamic. I'm actually very impressed by this. I got to press that button four times. <laughs> you can even you can even shove them back into the machine. That's so cool. Dr. Breen's private reserve. I wonder if that's important later. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen or been chosen? Do I like anime? Yeah, I like a lot of anime. I thought so much of City 17 that I wanted to establish my administration here in the city we so thoughtfully provided. Can I go this way? I've been proud to call City 17 my home. So, whether you are here to stay or have to be a true Welcome to City 17. Ow! Can I be honest with you right now? When these guys look at me, it makes me cringe. to one of our finest remaining urban centers. This must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. Yeah, I can see if this game has subtitles. No problem. Ooh, can I just say the vibes are really heavy so far? This game starts off in a very heavy place. No, I don't think a game like this has subtitles. Captioning. Closed captions. You have to understand, I'm used to like just playing Uno and Go. There you go. I feel like my body is probably covering these subtitles, isn't it? Is this better for, is this better for you? About that beer I owed you. It's me, Gordon Barney. I hope you're happy now. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind I hope you're my happy. beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. No, there's Sorry, important Doctor. stuff that happens in Look the bottom right here. of this game. Great Scott. More important than this dialogue, I'm positive. I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is okay, around I guess here. I'll just, I Somewhere. guess I'll like, there we go. She would have a better idea. Here you go. Get in here. Uh, as long as he stays away from checkpoints. I guess I'll just, I'll cover where Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're the health goes. It is. I don't Very presume well. that will be important. And, uh, Gordon, good to see you. Okay, Gordon, you're going to have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. There's no time to waste here, Gordon. Get a move on. Okay, so I'm trying to think of this situation strategically. 
I think there's no incentive for me to leave the room until this man you gives me going? points or some sort of currency. Right now, I have the upper hand over him. Move it along. So give me something. Let's make a trade. Hey, move it now, will ya? This man doesn't understand I have the status. They're right outside. Get going. I don't I don't think he's going to do anything. I I don't think this man's even going to do anything. Hurry up. I think I could be in here all day and they will just keep knocking on this door. Get going, Gordon. Chat's right about this. I think this game is being cringe right now. <laughs> there's no time to waste here, Gordon. Get a move on. Yeah, I'm sure there's no time to waste. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> I'm going? sure. No, I'm sure. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. Moving along. Moving along. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. What are your takes on the rule changes coming to competitive Uno? Well, Okay, so I'll be honest with you right now. The version of Uno I play is not the typical one that you'll find for sale on digital platforms. I play free Flash versions of Uno and Go. If any of my audience from Cruft is watching today, they'll let you know about this. Um... Yeah, so the Uno I play is called Unu, U N U. Drangly, thanks for being a 28 monther. Uh, it has slightly different rules, so to be honest with you, I'm not too concerned about any competitive rule changes. Does the invite-only streaming platform you use have a 70-30 split, unlike Twitch? I think it's something like 15-85. Uh, but it's a... It's a very good 15, if you know what I mean. A solid 15, yeah. Can I be honest with you right now? The size of this padlock makes me cringe. Okay, I do think that this is another strategic moment. Do our benefactors really know what's best for us? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision? Based off of the game's rules so far, I believe the right thing to do is to press E and then put it in the trash can. and then take it back out. I win again! 
This simple fact has far-reaching implications. It requires radical rethinking and revision of our genetic imperatives. It also like, I'm not stupid. I know a game like this isn't about winning and losing. I know there's not going to be a high score at any point. But I still want to win. Strategy Emerald, can I get a birthday shout out? Birthday today and found out I'm having child number three. Oh, hold on. I heard there's buttons for those. Oh yeah, 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 oh yeah. Happy birthday! And congrats on your baby. Okay. Back to gaming. It will not go down without a bloody fight. Instinct would inflict a fatal injury on our Am I excited for the live action Uno film? You're worried that the cast about the casting? Uh, honestly, I don't watch a lot of movies. I think they run a little long, and most of the time... Here's the thing about a movie. If the characters in the movies used the proper strategies, they would be over in 15 minutes. And so you're basically you're watching a whole movie of somebody making an improper strategy. And I simply don't have the patience for it. Let's see if we can put this can inside of this vending machine. <laughs> yep, you can. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you can. <laughs> you can do that. Okay. Now let's see what happens if we press the button. <laughs> now, do you think if we remove this big bottle, more ca oh, oh yeah, wow. That's actually very cool. Have I ever played a game called Bust of Fellows? Kyle swears by it. Uh, yeah, I've played Bust of Fellows. I was able to use my strategies, and I was able to bed four of the six gentlemen by the end of the first chapter. I also detect some unspoken questions. Do our benefactors really know what's best for us? What gives them the Normally, I find dating simulators a little simple. They're too easy to gain. To address the anxieties underlying your concern. Can I be honest with you? Yeah, of course you can be honest with me. Bust of Fellows makes you cringe? No, I get that too. First, let us consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is our This simple fact has Has Kyle given you any warnings about us? No, he just said, he said, don't play Uno. Don't play Go. Don't do anything horny. Those were the three things he told me. Would I play an Uno dating sim? Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah, I would love that. How cringy is this audience compared to your viewers on Cruft? So it's spelled K-R-U-F-F-T. If you ever get invited to something called Cruft without the K, do not accept that invite. 
but inseparable from instinct is its dark uh my audience on craft is pretty cool i call them my cringelings bound to unreasoning impulses and today we clearly see its true nature uh, <laughs> they make me laugh. Uh, normally, uh, how do I get through this wall? And bids us rise up against Instinct tells us that the unknown is a threat. Normally, my cringelings are kind of harmless. You know, they don't ask me too many questions about me. Mostly, they ask me why I made that move I just did and go. Therefore, must be expanded. It must be fought tooth and nail, beginning with. Apparently, I make a lot of childlike mistakes. The urge to reproduce. We should thank our benefactors for giving. Kyle calls us the boss maniacs. Just so you know, should I call you that? I don't think he mentioned that in his note. I'll call you that if you want. Ow. Do I go to school? No, I dropped out of high school because it was a little simple for me. War of the Worlds called. I can call you cringelings? Do you mean it? Okay. I mean, if we get along, I'm not against it. <laughs> I've devised the perfect defense. <laughs> I devised the perfect defense. gives up and then he gives up he just gives up <laughs> I'm imposing my will now you see now you see what I'm capable of this is how it always starts first the building then the whole block they have no reason to come to our place. This is typically oh, why I find single-player games to be so rudimentary. Tic-Tac-Toe is an unwinnable game. I just won. Do I have any kids? No, no, I do not have any kids. It's just rudimentary. 
If you compare something like this to the calculations you have to do every second in a game of Go... It's like comparing high school to the books that I read. What books do I read? Uh, so last night I was reading Qantas Before Us. Basically, it's a story about time travel. It's science fiction. Now, okay, if these physics are correct, and I believe they will be, once I jump onto this teeter-totter, I will stay on top. I should have known better. Quantus Before Us is interesting. It's basically about how time travel can sort of ruin your skin and your mind. That if you time travel too much, your skin becomes slimy. And if you think about it, that's probably actually what would happen. Take it anymore. Everything's gonna be okay. What are we going to do? That guy broke my box. When is it all going to end? I need a better box. Please. Oh my god. Watch it, will you? Can I be honest with you? This three feet above this man's head, it makes me cringe. I want to see if he can break this lamp. <laughs> can I ask what kind of vibes you like to listen to musically to get into the Uno mindset? I don't listen to a lot of music. Music is... Typically unchanging, meaning it sounds the same every time you listen to it. So if I really want to get into the Uno mindset, typically I'll listen to like a jazz streamer on Cruft. Attention, resident. Miscount detected in your block. Cooperation with your city's protection team. Hey, you! In here! Ration the wall. Head for the roof! There's no time to lose! Hey, Who's the biggest streamer on Croft right now? Ow! Oh no! Oh no! There's a guy named Paul Paul? Am I alive still? Oh, okay. In here. He's just insanely good at juggling. No, time to lose. no I, that doesn't count. That doesn't count because I got distracted by the question.
That do that one doesn't count. My will is still stronger. Keep moving. Head for the roof. Can I be honest with you about those loading screens? Attention. They make me cringe. All in local block. No, I don't I don't think you have to go. GOG, thanks for being a 19 monther. You're also cringing, I get it. Do I swear as much as Kyle? I've never seen any of his streams. But at soccer practice, yeah, he does swear a lot. I didn't know if that was like his online persona or, or what. I don't know what he's like to you. Barry Jammy, thanks for being a 28 monther. What position does Kyle play at soccer? He's a forward. But I've never seen him ever score a goal. He's on the bench a lot. Tell us about your Sonic OC. Okay. So his name is Strata Chaos Gemerald. He's got black fur and red eyes. I thought we were I thought we were gonna get away with it. <laughs> Dr. Freeman, I presume. <laughs> you better hurry. The combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. What just happened? So this is Alex. She's from Half Life Alex's VR game. I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. She killed all those guys. This way, boy. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't remember me, though. Man, a few words, aren't you? Can I be honest, VR makes you cringe? No, a lot of people have that reaction. Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. <laughs> Don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. What's a soccer team name? We're just we're just a local team. We're not Funny, professional or anything up like on that. This day in particular. We've been helping people escape the city on foot. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab through the old canals. Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better way. Do I have a TikTok? Yeah. No, wondering. they didn't let me on TikTok. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. I try to counter hack. So we all know that when you download TikTok, it basically installs a bunch of hacks onto your phones. So I tried to counter hack it. Oh, come on. Dr. Waiting. 
and then it kicked me out for life. Blast that little. Where did she get to? Lamar. How old do we think Strat is? Uh -oh, I'm 22 years right, old. Dr. Kleiner? Oh, uh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. I'm one of the Lamar smartest 22-year-olds on the whole planet. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and my goodness. I'm in the top 30%. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering Which means outside. basically there's a hundred million other people who were born Freeman, even if in 2000 who I'm smarter than. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. <laughs> What's my favorite Pokemon? Sand Slash. Your talents surpass your loveliness. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? There you are. Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. This guy owes me credits. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. Uh, that's right, Barney. This is a red letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport. My favorite Digimon is Metal Greymon. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous about. What cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not What jobs do I do for money? Um kind of as I applied earlier, I make a lot of money from Cruft right now. I'll give you the honor. <laughs> I've got to get back on my shit. But okay. It's mostly locked in crypto, but in a few years I should be pretty well off. Here we go. No, it's set to receive right now. So let's take this here. I thought you got rid of that pest. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's deep and completely harmless. The worst she might do is attempt to couple with your head. Fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me. Yeah, my pet. Up, up. No, not up there, there we go. No, no. Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile. Oh, fine. It's It'll cringe that these Disney I characters concern. think I care about their dialogue. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney, you're not an animal person. <sighs> Crypto makes you cringe? Well, Gordon, go ahead. Rip into your suit now. Must be a nice ivory tower you live in. Get your suit on, Gordon. Obviously, I want to see if there's anything else that I can use in the teleportation machine. No, we have time. I know we have time. There's Gordon Freeman's iconic suit. Time to suit up, Gordon. Huge fan. Thanks, Bulkzine. Do I know the tra phrase, if you're not toxic, you're last? Yeah, sometimes Kyle says that at soccer practice. Gordon, if you please, I'm eager to see if your old suit still fits. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't look. That was actually really cool. That was, I didn't, I honestly, I, you know, I thought it, I thought it would just, you know, make the box bobble around. I thought there'd be, the lights would show up, but I thought there was no way. The greater the danger to us all. When's my next soccer game? So mostly it's just a practice league. Mostly it's just a bunch of us getting together just to practice. Uh, we don't really... We haven't played a game in a couple of years. Teleport yourself. That's worth trying. If Dr. Kleiner says you should wear that thing, you should wear it. It 
didn't work. Well, Gordon, go ahead. Slip into your suit now. Okay, so what you can't see is that my health is now at 100. fits you like a glove. At least, the glove parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now What's Kyle usually doing when he's at soccer practice? You, I mean, he's usually, like, he does what the coach says. He gets out of breath really fast. And the rest of us just tell him to take a break, but then he, he never does. modified your suit to draw power from combine energy outlets which are plentiful this game is cool patrol. does he show off his arms yeah he's always on the skins team it's honestly okay like i didn't i'm just you know substitute streamer for today like, I didn't come here to just, like, make jokes about Kyle. But, yeah, it's, like, none of us want to play shirts versus skins. We're just playing soccer, you know? So it is weird sometimes. You coming? Kyle makes you cringe? You should come watch me on Croft. I hope you get an invite. Why don't you position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my word? Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a hold up on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. Uh, that's not who I think it is. Indeed, yeah, Croft is invite only. And it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? We're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Let's see. Well, that's the thing. It, it, it is... It is also a streaming service. Sorry, it's a, it's, a, it's a streaming service, crypto, and they will babysit your pets, too. It's three services in one. So, yeah, a lot of people get it confused pretty easily. Dear me, you're right. Gordon, would you mind plugging us in? It's right there, Gordon. Uh, there. What kind of music do I listen to? It's pretty much at this point exclusively live streamed improvisational uh, jazz. You can find a lot of improv jazz musicians on Cruft. Uh, you thought I got banned from Cruft? I did try to counter hack them, but I had a long meeting with the boss of Cruft and he said, okay, you can stream here actually. Provide some jazz for you? I mean, I okay. could. I haven't done that live before. People mostly come to me for Uno and Go. I haven't tried. Well, did it work? See for yourself. Hey, Doc. Oh, thank goodness. My relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work. My trumpet's in my car. Well, I, I can pick it up over the break. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon through now. Right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. All right, Barney. Your turn. Gee, thanks. Gordon, as soon as you're in position, we'll send you to Eli's. And not a moment too soon. So early when you were all saying Barney, 
I thought you were talking about Barney, the character from Flintstones. I didn't know that was actually this guy's name. In the transmitter, we can begin. Excellent. Initializing in three, two, one. This is a fact. There's more people named Barney in literature than there are living in real life. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage and best of luck in your future endeavors. Final sequence. That sequence had the elegance of Zack Snyder's Justice League. What's my take on Corrupt's new AI-driven real-time ad initiative? I like it. I, uh, I believe that AI is generally smarter than humans. Sometimes I turn AI on in Uno, and I lose. And it makes me furious. But you have to commend the machine, you know? And so, yes, perhaps the machines are better at advertising than human minds are. Okay, so I... I was collecting boxes to get over this chain link fence without realizing that the door was open. We can make a barricade though. This is a good strategy. No. I didn't say I didn't say I was I didn't say I was the smartest 22 year old I said I'm I'm one of the smartest 22 year olds I'm in the top 33% on planet earth thank you what are your feelings on milk I love milk I love milk. I could drink a glass of milk all day long. Typically, typically my fridge is 45 to 55% milk. Hey, Gordon. Hey, Have I played Gordon. Barnyard before? No, is that a card game? So sometimes you might notice lit up like that. Get out of city 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They should told me that sooner. It's, it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees and they'll help you if they can. I come with you, but I got to look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. Good luck out there, buddy. You're going to need it. 
Sometimes you might notice while I stream that I will look over to the side and almost tip my head up as if I'm drinking from a glass of milk. This is simply an impulse. I've learned to stop drinking milk while I'm streaming, but it's, it's muscle memory. It's hard for me to forget to not just, you know, go through the motions of taking a sip. You'll, it'll look like this. That's, that's normally <laughs> when I would be taking a sip of milk. And so, yeah, I've been trying to train myself not to drink as much milk. <laughs> you heard there was some drama between me and Final Fantasy XIV streamer Dami in a kiss. He said something like, Strat doesn't play real games. Oh, uh, I hear that a lot. I hear that a lot. A lot of people like to slander Go. Obviously, I think pretty much at this point, everyone understands Uno is one of the greatest games of all time. But yeah, there's a lot of small time Uno haters out there. I think they just don't get the strategy. Like if they sat down at the table against me, they would truly understand what it means to have your mind overcome by the will of another. Have I seen Kyle's Be Right Back video? Yeah, I have to use that today. I have to use his whole setup. Hey, everyone, can I be honest with you about something? About this music? It makes me cringe. hit me inside what even like i was inside what even hit oh that one doesn't count that one doesn't count the music was too loud they made they made the music louder than the train sound Do I know what a Clutchmeister is? No, what is that? I've never heard of Clutchmeister. I played Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennium Puzzle before. Yu-Gi-Oh! has too many dragons. I tried to learn the strategy of Yu-Gi-Oh! But there were too many dragons. Why don't I like dragons? I've never been asked that before. I don't know. I, I think that a big part of it is that they're so impractical. 
every single dragon and every single story sends, tends to be kind of full of itself. When I see a dragon, I just see arrogance. Help me! Help me! Now you see my strategy at play. This man is in my palm. He doesn't realize it, but he's stuck. Can I be honest with you about something? Like, can I just speak from the heart right now? This AI... It makes me cringe. Tate on Twitch, thanks for being a 19-monther. Thanks for filling in for Kyle. It's my pleasure. Happy to. Minor lacerations detected. For you now. You'd better run. There's nothing else you can do here. If this was a real woman, she would be unhappy that I was shooting this guy's head. She doesn't even care. This game is fun. <laughs> this is a fun video game. I'm assuming because these barrels are so light that they no, lo no longer have flammable liquid in them. But there's only one way to find out. I have concluded that Gordon Freeman is simply very strong. He picked that barrel up no problem.
Do I know a guy named Brandon Jones? He loves that game? This game? No, I don't know him. That thing... That thing took a picture right before it died. What's he known for? Where does he stream? Okay, are we supposed to be out here? Yeah, I think what we're gonna do is this, and then we're gonna like that. We're gonna, there we go. You can just point at their heads and kill them. I see why people like games like this. You can just point at people's heads and kill them. In Uno and Go, there is killing, but it's kind of, you know... It's not so visceral. We killed all of them. Silence. How do I crouch? <laughs> Cruft CEO just subscribed. Hey, Robert, it's good to meet you again. I'm just filling in for a streamer named Kyle Bossman today. I'm not breaking my contract or anything. It's not control. It's not control. It's alt. You gotta press alt. No, I'll be streaming later. I'll be streaming later. I'm just gonna, I'm just streaming on Kyle's channel for a few more hours. I promise I'll be streaming later. Attention. Unidentified person of interest. Confirm your civil What's my view on cats? Generally, I find cats to be a little low intelligence. I much prefer, like, police dogs. Now that's a smart animal. tell if you actually like this music. As a connoisseur of acid jazz, I think this is atrocious.
It sounds like someone who loves The Matrix made this soundtrack. Do you know how, like, do you know how, like, in high school, there's this kid who's, like, designing their own Dragon Ball Z characters? That's what this soundtrack is like. It sounds like, it sounds like someone who loves the Matrix trying to make their own Matrix music. Are they why you dropped out? No, it's like I said, the, the books were a little too simple. We'd be reading something like The Great Gatsby, which is just full of non-strategic people. And it would be frustrating for me. Do I like Weezer? Yeah, I love Weezer. So, when I'm not near my laptop, when I'm just, you know, walking around, I'll put on Spotify, right? And obviously, you know, I can't get any of my jazz musicians streaming live to my phone. So I'll just ask Spotify to give me some Weezer. What's the button to clamber? There we go. God. Guess those sirens are for you, huh? Good thing you found us. You're not the first to come through here by This is the free man. The Combine's reckoning has come. Look, we're just a lookout for the Underground Railroad. Main station's right around the corner. They'll get you started on the I swear I've seen this guy eight other times today. I've already got a friend here give you a jolt to get you going. Really enjoyed your Halloween Uno streams. How'd you come up with costume ideas? Generally, I just steal them from Reddit. We really can't afford to get noticed. Civil protection catches you down here. It's bad news for the whole railroad. We if you if you just go to reddit.com slash r slash picks, you'll see a lot of costume ideas for basically all of October. That water splash came from nowhere. Okay, I actually think this is very funny. This happens a lot in Go as well. You get so focused on the black dot, but then you get surrounded by white dots. It's a classic strategy. I fail every time. Can I teach you any Go terminology? Sure. So, there's often a time where you want to absolutely drown your opponent. We call that a drowning. So, for instance, I just drowned that guy. That guy drowned under the waves of my will. He 
He was pulled into the undertow of my incredible will. Stratagemerald, thank you for subscribing. Obviously, that's that's not me. I would not subscribe to this channel with cash. Boomer money. Would I say Uno and Go are Pog? I think that Pog might be Twitch lingo. I never really learned what it meant. On Cruft, we generally say something is piss. So if something really exciting happens, you would say that's piss. If somebody made a really smart play. Like that, that, I just, I, that was piss. Turning on my flashlight there was the proper strategic choice to do. So technically that would have also been piss. Hey Strat, just to let you know I have exclusive rights to this name on all platforms, including Twitch and Disney Dreamlight Valley. I'll see you in Cruft in the courtroom. Okay. Funny joke. Trust me on this. I googled Stratagemerald and I got zero results. So, I don't think so, buddy. That sequence was cringe. I can't believe Half-Life 2 has a turret sequence like that. Croft operates in international waters, so I think you're legally you're fine. Thank you, Two-Monther. I thought so, too. I notice your teeth are perfect and white. Did you recommend your orthodontist to Kyle? No, but he has expressed jealousy before. I do see him staring at my teeth from time to time. And then when he talks, he'll like, he'll cover his teeth. I don't know if you've noticed this about him. He barely opens his mouth when he talks. I 
simple trap. Natural slime. Well played. Les Bro, thanks for being a 28 month -er. Since Kyle probably has an NDA, can you tell us anything about the game Kyle was writing for? No, he doesn't talk about stuff like that. Essentially, I mean, I, you know, I, I see him once a week at soccer practice, but the impression I get about him is that he wants to know what's important to you. So he asks you how you're doing, and then he tries to say that he's doing something better than what you're doing. So it's like, if some guy's like, yeah, I just put up a birdhouse last night. Kyle will say, yeah, I own a birdhouse. And we're, and you, what do you even, what do you even say to that? Every single time. So we try to keep it with him at least. We try to keep it mostly to soccer. Dark Knight, thanks for being a 28 monther. Does Kyle ever brag about us? Not really. And I think it's mostly because... Well, if I'm just being honest here, my Cruft audience is much larger. So if he can't use the conversation to... be better than someone else, most of the time he just won't bring it up. Strat, what, WTF, man. We had a match scheduled today. You missed it, bro. What are you doing playing this low-culture, mindless game? So, Unomaster6969XXX has found the stream somehow. Even though I remember you promising me you would never look at Twitch. I'm gonna log on later. I'm just helping a friend tonight. Typically, I stream from midnight till brunch time. Watch this guy die. Uno Master, I'll play you at brunch. I like to cook. Yeah, I like to have like milky noodles. My favorite kind of meals are generally like, you know, milky noodle meals. What's my favorite sound effect in a game? So, in Uno, the version of Uno I play on the free Flash website. If you give somebody a draw 10 card, it goes. Ar! And that always. That always makes me laugh. me up. <laughs> it's 
So that has to be that has to be one of the all-time best sound effects ever in a video game. Well, I don't know. I don't... Yeah. I'm definitely friends with Kyle. I feel like I said some mean things about him, but, like, he's part of the team. He's been there for me, too. He's covered a couple of my Croft streams in the past. What even is this? What even is this? Yeah, he actually improved my Go ranking. He doesn't even know how to play Go, but he somehow, when I got back, I was silver rank. And I've never gotten up to silver rank before. How do you keep your shirt so white and clean? I switch it every time I go to the bathroom. <laughs> so I'm... <laughs> hamper next to my door I go to the I go into the bathroom take off my shirt throw it in the hamper <laughs> and then I have I have a closet on the other side of the door so once I'm done in the bathroom pull out a shirt <laughs> and, then, and then I'm good and then I'm good to go Okay, so I'm just, I'm honestly, I'm thinking about, like, everything we've played so far, right? Surely we'll stop running from these guys at a certain point, you know? Our character hasn't done anything but run in the direction that people tell us to. Up to this point. And for Gordon Freeman to be such an huge video game hero, I know at some point he's going to make a dramatically strong decision. He's going to make the choice that no one else can. I know that moment is coming. Otherwise, why would the G-Man talk to us for so long? Do I think Harry Styles really spit on Chris Pine? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty certain of it. So there's a subreddit. You go to reddit.com slash r slash diddy spit. And there's a lot of evidence.
There's an AI enhanced video that makes it pretty clear it was a huge loogie. So this is very funny. This is a callback to the teeter-totter from the children's playground. They even have the same cinder blocks here. Gabe Newell really thought he was hot shit at this point. He worked so hard on these physics. No, okay, so I see a big confusion in chat. A lot of people are saying Diddy Spit, like Diddy Kong. That's a whole other subreddit that I can't recommend. They get a little toxic there. I'm saying Did, D I D, He, H E, Spit, S P I T. Gabe Newell, he's one of the founders of Reddit. But he also made a lot of money from Valve. Do I have any strong feelings on Todd Howard? Yeah, he's an incredible Go player. He'll show up from time to time. You should never challenge, take it from me, never challenge Todd Howard to go. He'll beat you in fewer than 10 turns. Is this some sort of meme? Are we doing Oyas tonight? Yeah, that wasn't one of Kyle's notes. He showed, he showed me how to do the Oyas. One time I did download Hitman Go by accident, but it's actually a whole different game. All right, I'm about to lose my mind. <laughs> What am- what is- okay. <laughs> I'm about to lose my- this is making me feel crazy. I bet Gabe Newell thought this is how physics works. I bet I bet he actually thought this is how physics works. I bet he, I bet I bet I bet I bet he thought this is really how it all works. And then he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start reddit.com. And I'm gonna own the world. I'm missing a cinder block? Where? That has to be it, right? 
there's probably a cinder block in the sludge that we have to pull out with our gravity gun. Otherwise, I can't see a way forward. Okay. Okay. Kyle would land this jump. I know he would. Apparently, he's very good at jumping games. I asked him what kind of games he plays. And he says, I, I mostly play jumping games. Crouch jump, there's no, crouch, crouch is alt. Look down on your keyboard. Find the alt key. That's what the jump button is. That's what crouch is. You're asking me to hold down alt and then press space bar. No, Gordon Freeman doesn't run. Uno, baby. Uno. So as a smart person, I can absolutely see why smart people think this is a smart game. I'm just disappointed in their analysis. I am a little suspicious that they just like Gordon Freeman because he has a goatee and glasses. I think the goatee is doing a lot of work for that character. I do an uwu for you? No, those are exclusive to my OnlyFans. A lot of people on Cruft will ask for uwus too, but I don't do that for free. Do I play Smash Brothers at all? 
I tried Smash Brothers. I tried. I tried. But there's a little too much randomness into the game to me. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to light the barrels on fire and then roll them down, killing these beasts with the long tongues. There's only one burnable barrel. Okay, let's get this one down first then. You next. Get down there, Papa. Get down there, Papa. There you go. Now the flammable one. I said now the I said now the I said now the flammable one. Here we go. Get moving, Papa. Get moving, Papa. Oh no! There goes my whole strategy. Now I just have to hope they don't lick me. Nice. You'll find in the end, a good strategy always wins. That's why I win 9 out of 10 times in Uno. met Chegg Duff? No, I'm sorry. I don't know what that is. Are they a streamer? Why did I choose this game? Kyle asked me not to play Go or Uno, and so I just googled what is the greatest video game of all time, and this is generally the best. I figured, why not play the best game? Did I use Bing? I would never use Bing! So I got blocked from Bing for trying to counter hack them. Civil protection is on to us. We're tearing up the railroad, covering our tracks. The last one through. Be glad you're not the guy they're looking at. The day Bing launched, I tried to figure out how their search engine works. And then they blocked me for life. Now they're flooding the areas up ahead with man hats. You better get going before they sweep through here. Call. Thanks for your help. Look, it isn't safe here. Now I'll give you some supplies to keep you going, and you really gotta go. Yeah, I was nine years old when Bing was new. Good luck out there. A lot of people think Bing is kind of new. They think like Bing is like five years old. Bing's old. I did my first counter hack probably when I was six or seven years old. I got a, a Paw Patrol fire truck that I thought wasn't fast enough. So I tried to counter hack it to increase its speed. I was successful, but I was banned from buying any new Paw Patrol po toys for the rest of my life. Am 
my parents too. They weren't even like I wasn't even allowed to like have a Paw Patrol toy. Is he saying Paw Patrol or Paw Patrol? I'll spell it for you. P A W P A T R O L There you have it. What is a counter hack? It's when you try to hack a hack. When something's hacking you and you hack it back. That's a that's a counter hack. It's pretty piss. Okay, how do I get on there? How do I get on there? Can you counter a counter hack? Yeah, but it's just like an Uno. You can reverse a reverse card, right? But then if you reverse the reverse, it's just like you just played a reverse card. So you would just call that a hack. That's just to keep things simple. A lot of EULAs now have no hackbacks clause. Tell me about it. I got banned from watching most Peacock shows. I see. Uh, I don't see. Honestly, I don't see. I don't see how you're supposed to get up there. So I tried. What I try to do is. There's a new Saved by the Bell that's kind of like a CW show. It's like a little more serious. The characters aren't dating the right characters. So I tried to counter hack that show to kind of edit it so that maybe some of the relationships I think would be more logical would connect. But then I got banned from most Peacock shows. The only thing they let me watch still is golf. Peacock has a lot of NBC shows, a lot of old sitcoms, and then live golf. Really, how do I get there? How about, how do I get how do I get there? How do I get there? Hey, Strat, Kyle likes to take a break every two hours, and we're coming up on that soon. Good to know. Uh, I do need a fresh shirt, so that works out perfect for me. I bet Gabe Newell is laughing his ass off right now. He said some wood is breakable, but some wood isn't. Jump from where the ladder is to the platform. They block you. You can't. There's a big block right here. It's like trying to kick the ball past the defender in soccer. You simply can't. I'm going to give up on it.
can I use the wooden boards on the floor to make a bridge? That's a cool idea. Let's make a bridge. Here we go. This will do it for sure. Right there. Uh-huh. This will do it for sure. This is a really good idea. I believe there is a non-zero chance this will work. There is a non-zero chance that this is a strong strategy. This box is broken now. Okay, so what we're going to do is put that barrel there. That barrel goes there. This is perfect. No. That goes there. Perfect. I broke two of our barrels. I've broke two of our barrels. Boxes, I mean, I broke... The barrels are fine. They're just really hard to stack. Okay, let's assess the situation. Our opponent is this blinking dot on top of that platform. Our opponent's weakness is this platform right here. What is our play? How do we attack the weakness? Do we think this is pot? Is this even possible to make this jump? The teeter totter jump was so short. This one is so long. That's not even. That's not even. You can't even. You can't. There's no such thing as a crouch jump. The crouch jump here would be a misplay. I can't pick up that long wood, no. It's stuck down there. There's no sprint. Gordon Freeman just sprints everywhere he goes. Yeah, that works. <laughs> that works too. That was a viable strategy.
Thank you, chat. Oh, it's break time? Okay, yeah, so we can take a break. I'll go down a big old glass of milk. Switch my shirt. And then we'll keep playing what is widely agreed to be one of the greatest games of all time. Don't forget to grab your trumpet. I'm not going to grab. I'm not. I'm no. I don't feel. I don't feel confident in my jazz abilities to do that here live on on Twitch. Do I switch my pants? No, no, you, no, no. You don't have to switch your pants every time you go to the bathroom. <laughs> but you are cringelings. Honor, you're honorary cringelings. But until you have subscribed to my channel on cruft i cannot even officially call you a cringeling please hit the highest numbered oh yeah on the soundboard kyle does it at least once a stream okay uh it goes up to 10 oh yeah Oh, yeah. He does that every stream? Oh, yeah. I have to borrow this. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> does he just... <laughs> Does he just play it for the whole stream? Oh, yeah. At least once an hour? Okay, I don't I don't mean to press it too many times. Oh, yeah. I would I don't you know, I'm just a substitute streamer. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to mess up his flow or anything. Woo! He has a lot of buttons. Share the wealth. These are cool. I don't give a fuck. These are really cool. I don't see more and more on here. He's got a button here that says press for funny joke. <laughs> I get it. I get it. It's kind of sad, really. I don't know what it's like on Cruft, but you can curse here. Oh, yeah, you can definitely... Look, a lot of bad stuff happens on Cruft. You can definitely swear on Cruft. <laughs> bad juggling? No, no, no. So once again, Paul Paul is he's the biggest streamer on all of Cruft. He's an inc he's the craziest juggler you've ever seen. But some of the things that he does juggle, you couldn't show on TV. <laughs> Schmuck, Fred, thank you for being a 28 monther. Kyle doesn't tell funny jokes, so we never get to hear that laugh track. Thank you, Stratagemerald. No problem. Happy to. Oh, 
All right, everyone, let's take that quick break. And uh, hopefully there will be a point, right, where somebody looks at Gordon Freeman and says, what, would, what do you want to do? What do you think we should do, Gordon Freeman? Maybe there's a point in this game where it's like Gordon Freeman is deciding to do something. That's probably coming after this break. Cody Kerr, thank you for gifting a gift sub. We have gift subs on Cruft, but you have to make a real commitment to the person who's giving you the, the gift sub. You basically owe them. So it's nice that here on Twitch, you can just gift a sub out of the goodness of your heart. I think that's pretty sweet. It's like marriage in that it's contractual. Technically, okay, I don't want to get into Cruft too much because obviously a lot of you aren't on it. But technically, when you sign up for Cruft and you say, yeah, I want to, I want to have a membership here, what will happen is part of that agreement is that you agree to owe something to anyone who gives you a gift sub. Half-Life is my favorite story in video games. So happy you're playing it. Technically, we're playing Half-Life 2. But yeah, it's great to see some exposure to the whole world. The interesting world of the universe of Half-Life. They have an incredible perspective so far, I think, on humanity. Eric GG, thank you for being a 28-monther. Hey, Stratagemerald, how much is it to sub to your channel on Cruft? Can I use a Prime sub? No, so you're going to have to use some sort of crypto... Um, I take a lot of diesels, but a few people sub to me using, um, you know, like lesser known stuff like bog dogs. Do I take Skylanders? I don't even know what Skylanders are. I know it's like, I know it's like Spyro and... Crash Bandicoot? I don't know what Sky... No, obviously not. Do I take NFTs? Yeah, if they're valuable enough. Yeah, that's a Pokemon. Okay, so let, uh, we, we have to take... I need to change shirts. So we're going to take a quick break, and I'll be right back. See you all soon.
Yeah, I got a new shirt. I kind of like that song, but the thing is, just as like I'm talking about, I know that in two more seconds, they're going to go, Hip -hop -hop. predictable. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, back to the world of Half-Life. I wouldn't call it cringe. I don't think it was a cringe song. Inelegant, perhaps. What would be my prediction of the chorus of a song called C'est La Vie? Uh, Alright, then this is just me predicting. I guess it would go something like, Say you will, say you won't. Say you do that I don't. Say I'm you, say you're me. Say La Vie? Something like that? That'd be my prediction. I like to play the song from Epidemic called 3D Print at least twice a stream. No. That's one that was a thing in my notes. He gave me a sheet of notes and he said don't mention 3D Print. Do not play 3D Print. I had to turn this music down. This is annoying. I bet that part made boomers really scared. This is Daylub. Thanks for being an eight-monther. Thank you, Stratagemerald. Love your streams. Thank you. Nice to see some, some uh, cringelings show up here. And I'll be up on Cruft later. I already have a few Uno matches lined up. So if you're wondering why I'm playing such a rudimentary game, it's because I will I will be playing some Uno later. What's the point of this part? What's the point of this part? Entrance underwater. Of course, but where? I found it.
This level design is nice. It reminds me of being in line for a ride at Universal Studios. It's very engaging. When did I first play Uno? Wow, I guess it was probably before my first counter hack even. So probably I was playing Uno at age five, five or six. Back then, of course, I was playing card-based Uno, actual Uno by Hasbro or whoever, you know, makes the real game. Unu, which is the version that I play, I discovered probably three or four years ago. Strat, you realize this is one of the most beloved games ever, right? Yeah, I googled best game ever. I googled best game of all time. I'm waiting for it to get good. So far, a steel tier Uno player could beat this game. It does not require much strategy. I'm slightly embarrassed the designers keep doing this. This is... This is like Earthworm Gym level design. This is... This is... <laughs> Just putting three of these tongue aliens on this one tunnel. <laughs> I swear I'm playing Earthworm Jim right now. Magic Eclair, thanks you for being for uh, for being a 28 monther. All right, I think that was just for a secret. Yeah, we got an achievement for it, so I guess that wasn't even the right way to go. Where are those guys going? Serious question for you, actually. Why do you think there's such a short battery on the flashlight? Not even one of my scathing game design takes. Genuinely curious why do you, you think they decided to do that.
So I see that these enemies are called man hacks. I don't think in, you know, 2004, whenever this game came out, I don't think man hacking was a thing yet, but in some circles I've seen, man hacking is basically the ultimate taboo. The game's loud? Yeah, I can turn it down. So it's funny, it's really funny seeing these video game characters called man hack. It'd be like, I guess if it'd be like if, if, if like Koopa Troopers were called like sell drugs, you know? Can we switch over to Uno for a match or two? So I don't play regular Uno. If we can find Uno on Kyle's computer, maybe we can play a couple of matches. Did you say I, ju I just turned Sprint on? How? <laughs> what button was it? Why do we think there was so much flammable gas in this sewer? Do I play football manager? No, I only like strategic games that are winnable. And sometimes when you're playing football manager, you're in charge of a team that's just not good. You're put in a situation where you can't win. I don't like to play that kind of game. That's why I believe that Uno and Go are two of the greats. Perfect games. You can always win. <laughs> so what button, what button toggled Sprint? What did I even press? It's shift. Can I be honest with you? I think that binding sprint to the shift key is cringe. Okay, our current opponent is this bar right here. If you ask me what I would do in real life, I would grab onto this bar with my right hand. I would reach the rest of my body out this way. I would put my left foot right there, and then I would grab this bar with my left hand. I would then let go of this bar, and I would just walk right across. However, Gordon Freeman isn't like that, and we have to accept that about him. There must be another way to get up here. Can I get some Oyaz for having a retro 
game buying spree. I got Shadow Hearts 3. Never heard of it. Burnout Revenge. Never heard of it. Frequency. Never heard of it. RECVX. Never heard of it. 007. Everything or Nothing. Never heard of it. Oh, yeah. Was that what I, is that what I was supposed to do? Was that really it? It's just a flat 2D texture, okay. My doctor was telling me there is such a thing as drinking too much milk. He said my body was breaking down because of all of the milk inside of it. Everything in moderation. It's it's the way to go. If you really love milk, you can't only drink milk. I'm not more I'm not more milk than man, but it's true that the way he explained it is that I was 5% milk. And if you think of a way that a body works, 5% is a lot. Do we think this is a platforming challenge? I wonder if we're even meant to come down here. Super Kobe. Thanks for being an 8-monther. When did the fuck did Kyle become a VTuber? No, 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 no. Uh, not Kyle. Kyle's getting his teeth whitened today. I'm your substitute streamer. Steam hiss. Kyle's getting his teeth whitened today. If there's just another little tunnel at the bottom of this water, I'm going to cringe. Jupiter of the Modi. Thanks for being a 16-monther. Good to support a new up-and-coming streamer. Thank you, Jupiter. Do I have a favorite saying or catchphrase when I win at Uno or Go? Well, they're different. Uh, so, like, an Uno win is basically something like, I planned it that way! Uh, generally, I'm not that excited. Again, I win 9 out of 10 times I'm playing Uno. So, you know, it's, it comes off more like, I planned it that way. Uh, when I get a win in Go... Typically, I will just kind of, I guess, giggle. My chat calls it giggling. So it's not so much a catchphrase it is, as it is just like a loud, uncomfortable giggle.
What if there are complications from the teeth whitening and Kyle's out for longer? Will I continue to substitute stream? Sure, I mean, he streamed twice for me. He did a couple of 23-hour shifts. But honestly, this is going to sound rude again. My viewership is much, much, much higher on Cruft. So it's not like it's a fair trade. I'm doing a really big favor for him today. If you're using Kyle's setup, did you get to meet Mucho? No, I guess he took Mucho with him to get Mucho's teeth whitened, too. The red valve on the pipe above you. Let's try dropping onto it. Okay, let's try getting it from here. Uh-huh. And then let's try very carefully just tapping the D key. Mm -hmm. Pressing forward on the W key. Slow, no. Come on, Papa. Come on, Papa. Can I be honest with you? Can I... Can I seriously, can I tell you something, like, honestly? That pipe makes me cringe. I, I actually can't believe they thought that was a good idea. That actually, that actually hurts me. <laughs> it's like they don't, it's like they don't even care how the collisions worked at all. It's like they're perfectly content to just let a player shamble their way onto the solution. Do I play Avengers? Marvel's Avengers? Yeah, of course. I'm one of the biggest Avengers streamers on Cruft. Yeah, you can be honest with me.
what's her Kate Bishop power level? I don't think she's a very fun character. To me, it's a bad play to choose Kate Bishop. Frankly, unstrategic. So, what we're learning is that Gordon Freeman's suit has a lot of powers. It has a flashlight, sprint, and oxygen. And it all uses the same power drain to his suit. It all comes from the same place. Do I consider? Yeah, watch this. Watch this. That's using my ox power as well, just sprinting. Frankly, barely going faster than you regularly do. They must have I think I think what happened here I think what happened here is they mistakenly thought that platforming segments are easy to design. I think that's what happened. I think they had some an excellent physics engine. And then I think they played maybe they what happened was they played good games that involved jumping. And then they thought we can do that too. And then they just published their video game. People praised it. And they never... They didn't know any better. They didn't know any better. They didn't actually know... How poor that is. I guess I can try sprinting. I can try it. I can try it. So we're going to hold down shift. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Any okay. 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 I actually think having these three spools bundled on top of each other could be advantageous to us. Perfect strategy. That was, you know what? I can admit that was a powerful sprint. Gordon really moved on that one. Have I played the smart version of Half-Life 2, also known as Portal? No, I don't really like puzzle video games where you're not imposing your will upon another human. 
you might as well just read a children's book. It's going to end the same way. Should I go talk to that guy? Can you tell Kyle that he's been officially replaced? Did you get a Cruft invite? We'll be happy to ha have you. Welcome to the Cringeling Lagoon. Have I ever played Bioshock? Do I like it better than Half-Life? I've never played Half-Life before. I truly don't play a lot of s human versus CPU games. Rudimentary. Maybe I didn't make the analogy clear enough for you. When you read a children's book, it's like something bad is going to happen to the main character, right? And you're like, oh no. Is Grover going to find the monster at the end of this book? You know, it's stuff like that. And it's like, Grover, oh, he's the monster at the end of the book. That's every single puzzle game. That's every single one. Whereas something like Uno, you don't know who the monster at the end of the book is going to be. Nine out of ten times, it is me. Nine out of ten times, but generally, you have no idea. And that's what's more exciting about the game. Here in Half-Life 2... Grover's always going to be the monster at the end of the book. We already know. We already know. We're just playing along. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. I beg you. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. I beg you. I beg you. Please don't. Okay. Okay. That was close. Tiptoe, Gordon. Tiptoe, Gordon. Tiptoe, Gordon. Okay, unfortunately, it looks like I just stumbled upon another secret and not actually the proper way to go. Perhaps we're meant to drop here. This seems new. Hello? Hey! You're Freeman, aren't you? We got word you were coming. You got here at a bad time. Black Mesa East to Station 6. Do you read? This Dr. guy's gonna... He's about to ask us what to do. Get him the airboat and give him all the help you can. Repeat, Gordon Freeman has returned. It is critical he reaches Black Mesa East. Better get going now. Never mind. He just told us to go. 
No, I didn't try to kill him. I didn't try to kill him. No, no, no. I was just taking a few swipes. So he knew I was the man. I was not trying to kill him. I was simply trying to impose my will. Thank you for understanding. From what I understand, the head crabs are the minions of the Half-Life universe. Sort of the mascot. And then here we go. Am I having fun? I would say I'm having fun in short bursts. I would say as someone who never truly believed that a game where you're fighting a computer would be the greatest game of all time. Some of the joy of playing through this game is sort of just the vindication of seeing that it's not that special. So in a way, you know, like if the, you know, do you ever, obviously I dropped out of high school, but like sometimes you'll see somebody you didn't like from high school not doing too well. <laughs> And that can be kind of fun in its own way. <laughs> I'd say the experience of playing this game is a little bit like that. KJ Cool Guy, thanks for being an 18 monther. Apologies for my asthma attacks. I know better, don't I? The proper play is to ignore this little secret that's barely hidden, but here I go again. I know better. We got an achievement anyway. We couldn't pick up any of the ammunition, but we got the achievement. Do I know what that symbol is called? I have not studied my Greek letters since I was probably 10, but I'm gonna guess that's Lambda. It says zombie death, like they're actual just zombies.
Okay, so what we're going to do here is... Nope, we're not going to do that. <laughs> I pressed... <laughs> Excuse my asthma. <laughs> I pressed the Windows button just trying to get back down to all... <laughs> In Uno, you never have to press the alt key. Unless you have a gray card. And those are pretty rare. I generally don't like to play my grays. We all agree this thing is obstructing that thing, right? This barrel is the reason that thing ca it is. Maybe I can just pick it up. There we go. Vixel, thank you for subscribing for 26 months. Been loving the stream. I was wondering though, do you ever play Team Uno or is drowning your opponents more piss if Will is being imposed alone? It is that, yeah. I generally don't like another online person taking credit for my victory. I earned that alone. If it could be 3v1, I would definitely accept the challenge. Can you imagine the rush of imposing your will upon three opponents all at once? Can I recommend some music? Yeah, there's an acid jazz live improvisational streamer. Named Saint Hebes. He's really good. You can only find him on Cruft. So if you get the Cruft uh, subscription, I do recommend Saint Hebes. Do I have a Discord? No, I thought Discord was dead. I got banned for counterhacking Discord like 12 years ago. People are still on Discord? Which users? Okay. Here's my question to you right now. Here's my question to you right now. How many times does this game want to play the teeter-totter trick? How many times are we going to play the teeter-totter trick? This is the last time? Okay. Thank goodness. I don't think these blue barrels are heavy enough. They're not at all. It appears I have to remove this blue barrel from here. No, we have to put the other blue... They're empty, but they have air in them. 
which by Gabe Newell's calculations <laughs> would logically be enough to lift that platform. Okay. But you know, I just imagine swimming to the bottom of this dank well, holding this barrel full of air. Imagine how strong Gordon actually has to be. Gordy is very strong and handsome. Achievably handsome, right? Maybe if I just had a little hair on my chin, I would look like him. Our strong beard. Thank you for subscribing for 28 months. Do you know what's fun to imagine is some absolute dork on their PC in the year 2004 screaming? Somebody, just imagine, imagine with me, imagine someone who is completely bought into Half-Life 2. In a way that they want, they want to feel the rush of fear. And imagine that human screaming at that part. Roaring buttocks, thank you for being a 28 month subscriber. Death pain. The subtitles are good. Do I play horror games unlike Kyle? Once again, most horror games are kind of just children's books. The only thing that scares me is a, an, an, uh, an Uno player with a draw 12. That's real fear. Do I watch Taskmaster? Yes. Taskmaster is one of my favorite shows because it's all about strategy, right? It's people trying to actually win. Nothing's fake. Nobody's making the illogical move. Nobody's dating the wrong guy. Taskmaster is pure.
Does my Cruft audience like musicals? They're a pretty wild bunch. Generally, I'd say the only two things that the, my Cruft audience has in common is love for piss plays, which means good plays. And then a lot of them make Grace Under Fire references. Grace Under Fire w was a sitcom in the 90s. I had never seen it before, so I had to just look it up because these people in my chat are just nonstop talking about various episodes of Grace Under Fire. Smashing this texture that represents glass is vaguely satisfying. You could probably post this clip to reddit.com slash r slash vaguely satisfying. Sean Doom. Thank you for, for subscribing for 26 months. Have you banned your cringelings from typing the names of certain Pokemon into your chat like Kyle has? I would never. No. I would never police the language of my cringelings. They often can be insulting when I make a wrong play and, and go. It can be rude. It can be hurtful sometimes. But I would never tell them what they can and can't say. Do I believe, unlike Kyle, that Grump Pig slaps? You'd have to show me an image of Grump Pig. I'm assuming based off the name, it's a Pokemon or another character from Grace Under Fire. Do I have good mods on Cruft? Cruft is moderated with artificial intelligence. So generally it's pre kept pretty clean. But to be honest with you, I'm a little scared that maybe my AI mods started the whole Grace Under Fire thing because it doesn't make a lot of sense otherwise. But yeah, I can't complain about my AI mods. I think they're fairly wonderful.
There goes my asthma again. <laughs> maybe, maybe that was a hint that I should use a grenade. strategy. Why did I choose to play this game? I googled what's the greatest game of all time. And most journalists who worked for websites picked this one. A lot of people in their 30s say this is the greatest video game of all time. So I figured I might as well give it a chance. Why not take this opportunity to play the greatest game, you know? So here I am. If I can't play Uno, or Go, one of the actual greatest games of all time. Let's see what these journalists like. Alright, that was the first piss part of this whole game. We were on some minecart, rushed to that door, jumped all the way down, and knocked that guy in the head twice with a crowbar. That was fun. Obviously, if that was a human opponent, we would have felt a greater feeling of accomplishment. The rush of imposition. But that still felt great. Is Kyle the oldest person playing soccer? You mean on our team? No, we have some people in their 50s and 60s and 70s on the team. There's no age limit. I just binged the greatest game of all time. It says Minish Cap. That's why I'm not on Bing. Well, I'm not on Bing because I got banned. But that's why I'm not sad I'm not on Bing. Do I ever go up against high school soccer teams? No, no, no. It's mostly just for practice. We haven't played a real game in two years. Just call me Matt. Thanks for being a 15-monther. Strat, who's your favorite soccer player? Do you mean on our team or in real life? In real life, it is Mia Hamm. And on our team, has to be Tongo.
Congo is one of the 70 year olds. She's incredible. Ahoy, Stan. Thank you for subscribing for three months. Yeah, we have scrimmages, but it's just, you know, it's just us versus us. Sounds like a pretty cool team. It is really cool. It's nice to just go out and kick the ball sometimes, you know? This is a question Kyle gets asked a lot. What's your favorite race? Do you mean like... Do you mean like the Tour de France? Because it's not that. Everyone's drugged up. Tour de France, it's, it used to be a pure competition of strategy and body type. It used to be poor. Pure, excuse me. But now, the Tour de France, it's all about who can buy the nicest drugs. I'd rather watch Euphoria. Bill Fancy Pants, thanks for being a 25 mother. Go back to your boat. That's really what we have to do right now, huh? Okay. I like this gameplay of clicking on the heads and then they die. Sometimes it's quite satisfying. <laughs> we know he died because it says death. We saw you have some other games on Steam. Might you try some of those? I don't think so. I'm here for Half-Life 2. So I think the way this level was designed is that we were meant to feel the pain of this blocked door first. But, obviously, I went up those stairs first and never really understood that this path was blocked. We never felt the imposition. I think what happened there is that one of those tongue things got me for a second.
This really is the thinking man's first person shooter. Call of Duty games are so dumb compared to this. <laughs> There's a very big distinction between this and a regular Call of Duty campaign. Our enemy is that prize in that basket. Our enemy's weakness is this basket. <laughs> How do we solve the puzzle? We exploit our enemy's weakness. Puzzle solved. I do miss my boat. Can we bring the boat through? We can bring the boat through. Locked door. An enemy. A pipe. Something to this side. Those don't break. Those don't break. Okay. I guess let's just get in and mess around and see what happens. So we outplayed our enemy there. That's typically what would happen in the first two rounds of an Uno match. I suppose what makes Uno different from something like Half-Life 2 is that here I have this handgun and I'm always going to have this handgun. In Uno, I might have a dart draw 12 or a draw 50, and you don't really know what you're going to pull, but you do know you're always going to be in a winnable situation. Do I consent to my likeness to be recreated in our, our, our art show? I suppose so. What sort of art show do you have? So with this weapon, you can kill them with one click of the button instead of two. Are you not a Kyle stream regular? I've never seen a single one of Kyle's streams. He barely talks about them at soccer practice. 
But I generally get the idea now. There's a soundboard. You play a bunch of goofy sound effects. Okay, I do think it's worth noting that we're playing the game on easy. I feel like I feel like I should say that right now because maybe there would be three headshots to kill one of these guys with your regular pistol, and then maybe the revolver would have been a more significant difference. Do I always play keyboard and mouse? Typically, when you're playing Go or Uno, you don't have to use the keyboard that much. As stated, sometimes you're gonna have to press the Alt key to use a gray card. But most of my skills is just clicking and making the right choice. I would have been dead 20 times already. I don't think I've made the incorrect strategical decision once in this entire playthrough. I haven't died one on, once on our easy playthrough. I definitely wouldn't have died once on our normal playthrough. You got hit by a train. Oh, you must have missed that part. That part didn't count. For that part, they played the music too loud, louder than the sound of the train. So that one didn't count. Once again, I really don't know what is expected of me. We come up through here. We go through here. We follow this path. We're following the path. Gordon Freeman is good at following paths. We come around here. This is where an enemy was. Then we go through here. This is the way forward. We got it. We found it. Just follow the path. That's all you had to do. I don't know why I made it so complicated for myself. All I had to do is follow the path. Do they ever explain? Do they ever do they, do they ever get into why Gordon Freeman is good at shooting? I feel like they've complimented him before at this point. Like, oh, thank goodness Gordon Freeman is here. Do they ever talk about like, man, you're also you also are really good at shooting. You're a good engineer, but also, wow, you can get a headshot. Now we just we just need to outmaneuver our enemy. Our enemy is this guy with the gun. 
Our enemy's weakness is his head. Our enemy's skill is knowing exactly where we are and popping off a shot immediately. He's not dead yet. He's not dead yet. <laughs> okay. That one didn't count. I made all the right plays. That one didn't count. That was the game's code being ineffectual. Can I be honest with you right now? I feel like I was a real gamer just now. I feel like I got a lot of headshots and a lot of these guys died in one hit. I get why this game makes smart people feel good. It's the piss. I didn't realize our weapon changed. Level 3 Mikes, thank you for subscribing for 28 months. Can I give Kyle It's the Piss for a sound bite? I don't think he could afford it, honestly. My voice is one of the top 15,000 most valuable voices on the internet. I can't just like give Kyle a little thing for free, you know? I'm so mad. I'm so mad that guy killed me. That's the guy who killed me. That's the guy who killed me. That's why that one didn't count. Obviously, that time that you saw me dying was not a true death. Veggie Burger, thank you for subscribing for 10 months. Gnome Strike, thank you for subscribing for 21 months.
Look at these cringy guards who all died in the exact same spot. Okay, so seriously though, please don't count it. Please don't count it. Kyle said he's going to pay me less depending on how many times I died. He's, he, he literally said this. He said every time I die, he's knocking off 100 scrounge coin off of my pay. And he's only paying me 500 scrounge coin to do this. Which again, just to make it super clear, that's a friendship rate. It's because he did me a favor and we're on the same soccer team. Normally, I would not stream for six hours for 500 scrounge coin. Mellow fellow, thanks for being a 28-monther evening, evening streamer. How goes it? It's going great. I'm uh, just plowing through this easy game. I haven't died once. Right? So the orange one juices up your suit, which is probably a thing I've ignored maybe 10 times up to this point. Uh, Kyle plays forward on our soccer team. What's his favorite formation? He's not good at the formations. He kind of just chases the ball and then tries to get a goal. I've never seen him pass it on purpose. that so we can get back in our boat. Do you think we can shoot the helicopter with this? Why else would it be here? Okay. Where's my boat? Do I have any secrets about Kyle? No, I don't I don't know that much about him. Where's my boat? There it is. Have I imposed my will on Kyle? Not even so. My position. We haven't. You haven't even asked me what my position is. I like to play goalie. So when you're playing goalie, the way you impose your will on your opponents, obviously, is just you don't let the ball pass the net. And it's fairly easy when Kyle's kicking the ball at you because he can't kick it that hard or fast. So in a way, you could say I've imposed my will, but nothing as dramatic as a go win.
Do I know about the Lola Bunny cosplay Kyle did? No. He speaks highly of Lola. I'd su I'm surprised that he would dress up as her. That makes, honestly, that's, that makes a lot of things he said to me very complicated. greatest game of all time isn't it it seems so far it's the greatest game against a computer of all time obviously i haven't played a lot of games against the computer but you know this is better than solitaire Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is a serious question. Is does, is this game known for having good music? Or are we memeing today? Like, do people know who this is? Do people, do people like this? Do you think I could eat 20 burgers over the course of an eight hour stream? If you give me enough milk, yeah. If you give me, if I have enough, if you can, if I can do milk and the burgers, I could easily do 20 burgers. So my answer to that question is how many burgers are you giving me? Because if I can have infinite milk, I could probably do 30 or 40 burgers. How come there's no hands on the handlebars? Gordon Freeman has no feet, too. How do I feel about cold hot dogs? You mean as something just like to touch? Hmm, I guess it'd be pretty nice. So some things I keep in my fridge I'm, are just things I just keep in there because I'm like, oh, this would be feel this would feel nice to squish later. Sometimes I'll buy a big bin of cottage cheese just to squish it. Do I squish stuff on my OnlyFans? Of course. So this is a this is another big environment. I guess we're gonna have to figure out. 
what needs to be done here. I think this will lower our boat into the swamp below. What else do I need to know? Okay, I think the reason, I think the only reason to go up there is to get those two refills. Not, not, nothing else up here is part of the progress. That was just a bonus if you nailed that jump, which of course we did with our ultimate strategy. Drinking milk is a good strategy because strong bones help impose will. It's true, it's true. You just have to do it in moderation. There is such a thing as too much milk. Don't do too much. Okay, I actually thought that excursion was piss. It was fun to lower my mud skipper. Oh no. We're fine. We're fine. That was no big deal. That was no big deal. That was not a no-no. Not a no-no. That was not a no-no. It was a temporary oh-no. Sometimes in Unu, you'll get a temporary oh-no, too. One of the gray cards is walk away. Sometimes an opponent will actually play the walk away card on you. You gotta walk away from the table for five minutes, log off, log back in. But then sometimes you still win one of those games. If they saved it for the last, you know, couple of hands, it's gonna be tricky. But if the walk away card happens early, you'll be fine. Chat's concerned you haven't been saving. Why? What are they concerned about? Was the touch hands card nerfed? Nah, it's still pretty good for most builds. Uh, I don't use that one too often anymore. We solved the puzzle. <laughs> okay. I always thought Go Fish is important to becoming a great Uno player. Card prediction is key to success. Yeah, I played Go Fish when I was maybe three years old.
It wasn't until I was five years old that I learned the key to Go Fish. Go Fish is a solved game. It's what we call a solved game. Like tic-tac-toe. I don't know why, but why nobody else realizes this. If you just lie when you play Go Fish, you can't lose. So if someone says, do you have any sixes? You just look at your hand. And even if it's full of sixes, you just say Go Fish. It's the easiest baby game in the world. Do I know what DGD stands for? No. What is that? That's cheating. It's a game. It's a game design flaw. There's no way to confirm whether I'm cheating or not unless you look at my hand. Go fish is rudimentary. DGD is what we call dance, Gavin, dance. <laughs> okay. I like it. Will I watch near anime? It will depend mostly on the decisions of the protagonists. Take a look at this. This here is the dam. It's just up ahead. Eli's hideout is here. A stone's throw from the apron and nestled in the... The reason I prefer Dragon Ball Z above yeah, most else. Hunter Chopper on your ass next to impossible. Good news is... The is that the protagonists are typically there, making so the most optimal decisions? I think he's just For instance, oh, I need to out. raise my power level, so I'll go do this thing. One Piece is full of illogical decisions. This boy Luffy makes the most illogical decision in the first chapter. And then continues to say, I'm going to be king of the pirates. For a thousand more chapters. And people laugh at him. And he's like, no, I'm going to do it. And it just gets, it gets tiring he's mark my words never going to be king of the pirates it's impossible do you know how strong you have to be to be king of the pirates he doesn't have it in him John Terp, thank you for subscribing for 15 months. Now, I have to be honest with you. I did not listen to what this guy said at all. It's highly possible he did just ask Gordon Freeman what they should do. He did ask that. <laughs> there we are. That gun came off one of the same hunter choppers that you're up against. I always like to bring a little irony to a firefight. Okay. Get chopper down, and you should be able to tear on through to Eli's place. The Freeman will accept this weapon. Or suffer greatly on the road ahead. So we just got we we came we stopped here to get a gun attached to our boat. How much of this game is boat? Give him hell, Doc.
I think we blew one of its teeth off. This is the right play. This is the right play. This is the right play. Trust me on this. I'm making the right play. Sometimes, sometimes you're playing go and you're gonna lose some dots. Sometimes you have to lose dots to gain dots. This was one of those instances. What do we... Am I missing... How do we... Okay, here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. I didn't peek in this nook. Do we think there, do you think, do you think you can open this nook? Rudimentary. This was a rudimentary nook. I'm embarrassed for these cringe bad guys who are standing next to flammable barrels. They could have just they could have just kicked the flammable barrels down into the swamp before starting to shoot at me. to watch the Half-Life prequel anime that shows how Gordon Freeman became a scientist? No, I haven't seen that. This is my first exposure to the character. Hi, Xco. Was that thing just dropping flaming doors? That was its whole deal. We'll see, you know what that was? That was foreshadowing. That was foreshadowing. I can recognize foreshadowing. So I think what was happening there was that we'll fight that thing later. 
It looked like it had legs. This was just the first we see of it. It's break time again soon? Okay. I could use a fresh shirt. Do you know what a nice thing about playing games against a computer is? They give you little achievements in the lower corner. Just for finding a super easy to find secret. Yeah, I'll take a couple of gulps of milk maybe over the break. I could use a couple of glasses of milk, no doubt. Unu does not have achievements. No, most Flash games don't have any achievements attached to them. So this is really some of the first achievements I've ever unlocked in my life. It's sad I have to do it on Kyle's account. Don't you have to report your milk intake to your doctor? Yeah, I have it cut down to eight glasses a day. So far, I've only had five. So as long as I just have these two during this next break, and then somehow only one glass of milk for the rest of the night, I'll still have just eight. Do you sip or do you chug? It starts off with a sip, always. You always start with a sip. And then, uh... The urge takes over. And it becomes a gulp. I've never tried pea milk. I've never tried oat milk. I've never tried any fake milk. If it hasn't come out of a living creature, I don't know. There's just something not right about that to me. I want to know that this liquid existed inside of a living creature. Goat milk, I've tried it. I've tried goat milk. It's not quite it's not quite as frothy as cow milk. Cow milk is definitely tops. What about a dead creature? That's dark. I don't know. I don't want milk out of a dead creature. Human milk? Well, we've all had human milk. A lot of us. I would I would say probably upwards of 60% of us here have had human milk. Not me anymore, obviously. I'm way past that. I would, I would say that cow milk is just the best. I would, I would say, I would say cow milk is just the best. Just the best thing you could possibly drink. And so, no, I know you're trying to be, like, weird and gross. Be like, well, don't you want milk from this thing or this thing? But just, like, the milk from cows is just unreal. Where am I from? Uh, typically, I'm streaming on uh, a, an invite only streaming service which is maybe why you haven't heard of it it's called cruft i'm one of the top streamers on cruft so cow milk is piss i mean you could say that yeah if you're gonna use <laughs> i realize now this is complicated but yeah if you're gonna talk in 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 cruft slang yeah cow cow milk is piss I realize how I realize now that would be confusing to a lot of people. Yeah. 
Ickity Ackity Oop. Congrats on having 12 months of being a subscriber. Kyle usually plays Tori Wolf's safe word from Epidemic during his last break. Thanks for filling in for Kyle. You are so good. I wish I could get an invite to Croft. I hope you do too. I hope you do too. All right, let me find Tori Wolf's safe word. We'll take a quick break and I'll be right back in a fresh white shirt. See you soon. That was a pretty good song. <laughs> so hold on, I read something in chat. Listen to this. I just won a Fortnite match with 15 damage taken and 1,000 damage to other players. Normally I would congratulate you, but that sounds a little to me like you just beat some bots. Congrats on beating up some bots. This is why I prefer to play against human opponents. It 
Zio, thank you for subscribing for 28 months. Hey, Strat. There's been a lot of drama on Cruft this week between Mega Smalls, KTX, and Daddy Chew. Any thoughts on that whole mess? <laughs> yeah, obviously I got a lot of thoughts about that. <laughs> Yeah, obviously, obviously, there's a lot I should address. <laughs> I guess, um, I guess if I, I, okay, here's my take. Here's my take on all this. It's dog eat dog, baby. It's dog eat dog. You know? So if you're not, if you're not in this to eat dog, then you're the dog who the, another dog's gonna come eat. You're either the dog who's eating a dog, or you're a dog that some other dog is gonna crawl up and eat you. So that's just that's all I gotta say about this. Which dog do you want to be? Dogs are smart. Dogs are very smart creatures. Is Zio the only one of us with a cruft invite? I, I think I've seen quite a few crufters in chat tonight. Obviously, no one should beg for a Cruft invite, but... It would be cool if some of you were willing to, you know, send some emails out. These bad guys... <laughs> These bad guys are using Donkey Kong strategies. They're just, they're really just throwing barrels at us. Kimbucha, you're on Cruft too, but you only stream once a month, and it's just me going to Costco, but viewers can vote on what I hat I wear. Oh, I've seen a lot of Cruft streams like that. It's rare to see somebody using cash on Cruft. Generally, that's pretty discouraged. I can't believe they let you do that. I'm going to handle this scenario with a grenade. Oh no. This is a no 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 no. Okay, so we, we just need to get our boat back. We can do this. Do I have access to the happy meter? Yeah, I actually, I think that was in the notes. Generally though, I'm always happy. That's just something people say about me. So I don't really see the point. Hey, how come these tanks know exactly where I'm gonna be at all times and they shoot rockets at me? I'm trying to make the right plays here. But it's like the the deck is stacked against me.
I can't throw a better grenade than that. That was the best possible grenade throw. I can't throw it better than that. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, here's the good news, is that there's absolutely going to be health in this box. There we go. I predicted that box would be there, of course. They were they were attempting to impose their will upon me. No doubt. But my will is strong. My play's doubly strong. Next we have this closed off wall in front of us. What do we gather from this? Are we going to get on that boat? Are we going to go into this hallway? The answer is yes to the second one. Have I ever seen BBT? It's something we talked about a little while ago. I don't really enjoy any media that portrays dragons. So I've steered pretty clear of BBT. How do I think this game holds up? This game holds up like a wet paper towel. <laughs> This, this game, this game does, it does not hold up. Gone calf. Thank you for being a six monther. Uh, I forgot this was happening today. Getting here late broke my brain for a hot second. That's true. If you're just joining us, I am the substitute streamer for today. My name is Stratage Emerald. I'm filling in for Kyle just as he gets his teeth whitened today. I know you're probably used to low IQ streams. I'm sure that takes some adjustment. Is this a duel? If that helicopter just dropped more bombs than could have possibly fit on it. Unless they have some sort of teleportation device too. How do you how do you possibly dropping that many those are big bombs too? Gabe Newell must be laughing his ass off. That was too many bombs. Look at this. Look at this. Where are they all coming from? All right, we got to discover some health or we're dead meat.
Not health. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Okay. The duel can continue. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Outplayed. Once again, you've been outplayed, Half-Life 2. Is that... Is that how that's supposed to go? I think so. I think that's just meant to be a one-on-one -on -one duel. A boss fight. I can see why single-player gamers would like such a thing. But really, we just found out that Grover's at the end of the book. There was no other way for that to end. Do we think that speedrunners just kind of skip that part? I bet they do. I bet, I bet if you're actually playing this game optimally, you just do this and take whatever gunfire comes from that helicopter. I have to admit, Stratagemerald is making some good points. I've been hearing that a lot this entire stream. Honestly, that's probably the most frequent comment I read on any of my streams. Is Unu speedrunnable? It's not because it's a, you know, you're playing against other opponents live via flash. So really, you can only go as fast as your opponents are going. That's what's dynamic about it. Wow, alt fire. Cool.
I didn't know I had that. The game certainly did nothing to tell me about that. I guess they wanted you to read the instruction book or something. Fully juiced. So I guess this warehouse exists just for those two things. There's no other reason to come in here. Popping back in to say, I'm glad you played this, Strat. Kyle doesn't usually play such good games. You should try to talk him into playing Uno. I don't like watching him play Go. I watched the VOD that time that he took over my stream and played some Go. He just accidentally wins, and it makes me so mad. Kyle can't plan ahead. He would get destroyed in Uno or Go. Yeah, that's what's so frustrating about it. He just kind of walks away with victories. It's not an imposition of will. It's just like somebody who like walks down the sidewalk and and and, and finds a winning lottery ticket. Have I played Final Sword? I haven't heard of that. Is that a trading card game? Has Kyle ever taken over for my OnlyFans? I don't ha I don't know how to say this a nice way. I don't think he has the right stuff to satiate my audience's demands. If you get what I mean. <laughs> yeah, how did we do that? How did we do that jump? I can trust him. I can trust him to go on a stream for 23 hours and play some Go and Uno. Easy. That, that stuff's easy. If I lower that lever, they'll let me. I've played the I've played the Austin Powers card game. I've played that one. It's a little broken. Oh no. It's really easy to achieve Shagadelic in that game if you have the right cards.
Yule Scum, thank you for gifting a sub. We'll get it this time. The Austin Powers card game is another solved game. And it's a lot like Go Fish. You can kind of lie a few times. Tanti Tanti Shabello. Thank you for gifting us up. Seamless loading. I guess you can't complain about the loading because this game is so old. But I know that Ocarina of Time would never do that. I've never played it before, but Metal Gear Solid would never do that. But this is just a different kind of game. A game for intellectuals. They've got something. Okay, it's it's human. Hello? Take it easy in there. You're safe now. Look, I'll have to forgive the scanning process. We can't take any chances. Dr. Freeman? Gordon Freeman? Is that you? You've made it here this What's the oldest video game I've played? Go, I think, is pretty old. I've played chess, obviously. Judith Mossman. I've been hearing about you since long before the Black Mesa incident. Oh, Black Mesa. Chess is probably the oldest game I've ever played. When they are at the top of their field. Ah, there we go. You can come through now. I've done some wrestling. I guess wrestling is older than chess. We could certainly use the extra help around here. Go is older than wrestling. Okay. We're closing in on a reliable local teleport technology. Something the Combine still hasn't mastered. Eli thinks their portals are string-based. Similar to our Do I frequent r slash I am so smart subreddit? No, I don't get it. It does some some subreddits just don't make sense to me. I just don't think they're that funny. They knew what we were doing with entanglement. Go doesn't mean Pokemon Go? No, 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 no. Go is Go is a whole different kind of game. There's white dots and black dots. There's a whole board set up, right? Oh yes. Half the white, the half the dots are white dots, half the dots are black dots. We figured out how to use Zen as an unexpressed axis. Effectively, the version I play on my website does have some green dots sometimes. We're not sure if that's a visual bug or intentional still, but they are very powerful. Let me get a look at you, man. My God, you haven't changed one iota. How do you do it? Now, let's see. The last time I saw you, I sent you up for help after the resonance cascade. I never thought it would take you this long to get back to me. Welcome to the lab anyway. It's not Black Mesa, but it served us well enough. It's going to be a lot more like Black Mesa with Gordon. Right you are. MIT graduates are few and far between these days. We'll get you out of that hazard suit and back into your lab coat where you belong. Let me just finish up some work and I'll see what I can dig up. I don't think I don't think it's been a real I do have access to Kyle's Steam account, but I don't think I don't I don't think we should play any official Uno tonight. It's not what I'm used to playing. We'd have to play Uno. And I can't on this computer. It won't have any of my unlocks. But I wouldn't blame you if you didn't volunteer. 
volunteer for the next trial run. Oh, Dr. Freeman, you should stay with Eli. Go on, I'll rejoin you shortly. Things to attend to, Dr. Freeman. Let Eli show you around. There we go. You go ahead, Dr. Freeman. Spend some time with Eli. I'll be back as soon as I catch up on some work. This chair moves. It's just very heavy. It's just very heavy. Okay, so now we have to wonder, if I keep hitting the chair, will she move or will the chair stop moving? Who is stronger? Whose will is strong? Oh. Dr. Freeman, you should stay with Eli. Go on, I'll rejoin you shortly. Now that's a powerful woman I can respect. Fine scientist, Judith. She was up for your job at Black Mesa, but you edged her out with your Innsbruck experience. Which NFT chat emote should I invest into on Cruft? Oh, Gordon. If you find one that has the word piss in it, generally that's going to be pretty valuable. It's just stuff that's been working with the Cruft audience so far. You prove you can handle yourself out there. There's nothing Gordon can't handle. Kyle usually gives us football locks on Saturdays. Should I get, take Cowboys over Giants? I don't generally like professional sports. It's too hard to predict who's going to win. There's too much randomness. Take a look at this, Gordon. We're still not sure what that does. Alex brings in the strangest thing. So that's actually kind of cool. I feel like the texture that we applied to it goes all the way through and reflects on the potato inside as well. That's Alex, wild. I thought you were on watch. The what about Uno? So and I come see anyway, I should be in here working on the portal. We've talked about this. In Uno, no matter what your hand looks like, you always have a chance to win. It was a calculation error, not a mechanical problem. Always. Then maybe you should let me do the calculations next time. In professional like sports, that's simply that's not true. Really? Sometimes I think you deliberately misunderstand. Sometimes. <clears throat> Alex, why don't LeBron you James is just down by too many points. He's not going to win. Sure. Come on, Even though he has the best strategy, the, zero point energy field manipulator is not a toy the game is broken and he loses. It's too sad to see. Can you do combos in Unu? Yeah, most of Unu is combos. See you in a if the while. game has taken more than three turns, it's a rare game. Gordon, we'll catch up with you later. Well, you know what? I like that this thing makes a noise at least. I think it's cool this thing at least makes a noise. A frustrating thing about the ladder is that the button to go down the ladder is up. 
And then if you keep pressing up, then you go back up the ladder. Pressing the same button. I'm only pressing one button right now. Dr. Mothman. She's one of the main reasons I spend so much time outside. You should hear her drone on about how it should have been her in the Black Mesa test chamber that day. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking behind her back. It just gets a bit... Hey, Strat, I'd love your opinion on my elderly doggo, Debbie. She's 16, only has a few teeth left. Her arthritis has arthritis, so she walks funny, and she likes to boof to communicate. She can't see very well, but she loves to sniff to take in her surroundings. Here's a brand new, never before seen clip for reference. Let me see if I can figure out Kyle's setup. Klodinsky. This video is a minute and a half long. It's a minute and a half long. I will give this Debbie four seconds. If she appears intelligent, perhaps we can give her more seconds. No, this is fo this is clearly a fool. Klodinski, I have bad news for you. Your dog is a fool. This is a foolish hound. <laughs> I have bad news for you. I have bad news for you. Your dog is foolish. I don't know. I don't know if it's your fault that you raised a foolish dog. Maybe you adopted the dog when it was already foolish. But I think it's worth considering taking your dog to school. I think Debbie has a lot to learn. We don't go there anymore. I'm just saying the truth. We all we all know that's a foolish dog. You know, you saw the same dog I did. So, here we are. The scrapyard. A smart dog would cower in the wind. My father was talking about. You can call it the zero point energy field manipulator if you really want to. It's designed for handling hazardous materials, but we mainly use it for having one thing. Give it a try. It's not rude. It's I'm not being rude. Okay, obviously this isn't rope, but this is really cool too. Piss. Take this. The primary 
trigger emits a charge. You can punch stuff and send it flying. I found it handy for clearing minefields. The secondary trigger lets you grab things. You can now the game has begun. Once you pick now we have the gravity gun. People are finally asking Gordon what he wants to do. The game has finally begun. Okay, and then now we take this, we grab it. Try grabbing those barrels from that ledge up there. So we take this and then we take this. And then we, and then we, and then we, and then we, all right, and then we, see if you can stand up to climb up here. Wow. Wow. Try stacking some things. Grab something with your secondary trigger, then press the same trigger again to drop it gently. Seriously, this game is finally good. Seriously, this is the first time this game did something good. We found it. This game was allowed to be so boring up until this point because they knew. They knew this thing was coming. Now let me call Dog. He loves to play fetch. Dog, come. It's like they hid a cool video game inside of a dumb, boring one. Good doggy. Gordon, this is Dog. My dad's a First model is about okay, I've been adding to him ever since. Have a night, boy. Okay, Dog, let's play catch with Gordon. You'll need to use the gravity gun. This poor game wants me to pay attention to this. <laughs> this poor game thinks I care about this. <laughs> So I wonder if we can get on and speed it up at the same time. Let's try to get in the middle. Let's try to get in the middle. Let's try to get in the mi Let's try to get in the middle of this thing. And let's try to really make it go. Here we go. We're really going to make it go. Can I be honest with you? I also struggle to do this in real life at playgrounds. There's been many times in my life where I have failed to hop on to the merry-go-round. There we go. Okay, we're on. We're off. Okay. So, can I get into the middle? Here we go. How do 
we do this? Will that work? No. Okay, I give up. Go ahead, dog. Throw. Do you think you can die? Do you think that robot can kill you? <laughs> Look at this droid. This is so cool. Push a ball, dog. This robot's pretty stupid, I guess. Hey, is this part a little tedious? <laughs> Okay, so I think obviously because we have felt the inherent rush of unlocking achievements, we can't go until we score a basket. Obviously. You missed the boat, this is cringe. They just wanted to let you play around for a second. I think. I'm really close. I feel like that one time I did make it. It looked like I made it. It's also crazy to me this helicopter is shooting the basketball out of my hands. Maybe if we go from further away, we can actually put an arc on it. Wasn't that it? No! 
I don't know if we've had I don't know if we can confirm any basket we've had so far. By the way, if we die, don't tell don't tell Kyle. This won't count. Okay, back to the stupid story. Hi, robot. Dad, Alex, do you read? Did Kyle tell you about Montel? Yeah, so he had he had like a list of things that I need to know about the stream today. And uh, definitely he said, if anything good happens, don't say piss, press this button instead. gonna be nothing I am streaming from Kyle's apartment but Mucho isn't here he took Mucho with him to go get Mucho's teeth whitened too Can I be honest with you about something? This graffiti? It makes me cringe. When haven't I been honest with you? There was a part earlier in the stream where we were talking about our favorite Spice Girls. I lied. Wasn't the time for honesty. So I have heard of Half-Life 2's reputation, obviously. Half-Life 2 isn't a game that you just wander into, you know, never hearing about it before all your life. Much like the Spice Girls, you know what I mean? You didn't have to be alive in 1997 to know and appreciate the Spice Girls as a grown adult. So I do know Ravenholm has a reputation for being the stupidest part of this game. Kyle told us to remind you to play his favorite song during breaks. No, don't substitute me. Don't substitute streamer me. His note said don't play that.
This has my asthma acting up. This does it for me right here. They really thought they had something there, huh? The gravity gun is extremely piss. Now we're going to use it to make platforms to get up on that ledge. I know we're going to. I know this is going to work. Trust me on this. I have the right play. They wouldn't make graffiti that strangely cuts off right here unless they wanted me to use these as platforms to get to the top. This is the right play. What else could it mean? I guess we can try to find a big box or something. I have one hit point left. Would you tell me if I was wrong about this? Is there no way to get up on that thing using saw blades as platforms? Would you tell me if there's actually nothing up there? <laughs> yeah. I think there's nothing up there. I feel like maybe this graffiti was just a 2D stamp that they just slopped on there. Here you can see my 1 H. Look at my little 1 HP of health. Okay, yeah, right. Okay, yeah, right.
This is very tense. I have one HP left. And if I die again, I'm gonna owe, or I get paid 100 less scrounge coin. I'm not afraid of scary things. I'm simply scared of getting outplayed. Now let me ask you, let me ask you, let me ask you, don't tell, don't tell, that one wasn't my fault. That one wasn't my fault. D because there's I could not have, I couldn't have predicted that there'd be a ceiling fan just rolling around on the floor like that. I couldn't have predicted that. No, no, this would be, this would be, this would be, this would be like, like playing go fish. And then somebody just drops a bunch of marbles on the table. That's what that was. That's not that's not part of the game. The game has rules. And then they just they just took a fan out of nowhere and put it on the ground. LeBron would have seen the ceiling fan. You're not wrong. LeBron would have seen that coming. So I, I got a checkpoint here with one HP still. There's our ceiling fan. Do I crawl under? That's actually really cool. That was actually really cool. Okay, so I think we're going to have to turn this one on. And then lure them in. Precious health. Okay. <laughs> How do we... How did we press all R by accident? <laughs> by the way, 59 FPS. For shame. What kind of what kind of computer runs Half-Life 2 at 59 FPS? Thank you. 
That's more embarrassing than a dog who just stands in the wind. This guy can't walk over he can't walk over the dead head crab by his feet. He can't walk over it. Walk over it. Walk over it. Walk over it. <laughs> Walk over it. <laughs> Where did they come from? Where did that little bunch come from? So once again, you can see my strategy paid off. Go fish. <laughs> That's actually very fun. You mentioned you like jazz before. What do you think of the seminal jazz group, the Rednecks and their Cotton Eye Joe? That doesn't sound like jazz. I've never heard of that before. Summary on the game lore so far. Honestly, every time this game tries to deliver lore, I can't pay attention. There's just like some scientist who like looks at Gordon Freeman and is like making eye contact with him. And it's like, Gordon, so glad you're here. Here's some lore. And I just have to walk away. For a long time, people were upholding this as, like, the right way to do lore. Like, cutscenes are bad. I would take a cutscene over some of this stuff. Give me a- just give me a cutscene. Does Uno have cutscenes? No. Uno is PvP, which means player versus player. So that means that there's no story involved. It's just pure competition. Was this game made in the 90s? I think so. It took me it took me that whole time to switch to a gun that could shoot bullets just in case. Help me. But who is this? Another life to save? I'll keep my eye on you. More than that, I cannot promise. There's a hidden door in the saw room you were in. Let's find it.
No. No! No! Where was it? I'm not a fool. I'm not a fool. Like some dog in the wind. I'm not like that. I made the right play. Where's this? Where, where, where was the? Where's the secret door? Where's the secret door? I wouldn't mess something like this up. You know what this reminds me of? There's a map of Goldeneye that looks a lot like this. Here, I'm not sure that this room actually led to... I don't think there was any purpose to this room. There it is. There's our purpose. I never played the single player of Goldeneye. But I've played the Flash version, and it's pretty good. The Flash version has PvP. I played multiplayer of Half-Life 2. CSGO? I've played a little bit of CSGO, but honestly, I don't like the idea of my teammates thinking that their victory. Belongs to them. They need to know they won because of me. Same with Overwatch. No, I try I tried Overwatch. But at the end my teammates were like GG team. I w I was MVP and they'd say GG team. Good job guys. And I'm right there. I made the play of the game. I was MVP. Nobody would nobody said GG Stratagemero. So once more, we've unlocked a door that we didn't run into the natural path. But we can feel good that we unlocked something. So that's pretty much the reason that coach makes me play goalie. 
is so that when we win, it's 100% because of me. And when we lose, it's 100% because of me. You want to come out of there? Streets ahead, thank you for subscribing for 28 months. Is my nickname on the team The Wall? No, I kind of insist that everyone calls me Stratage Emerald. My manager says it's bad branding other ways. Do I find the pained cries of those zombies to be haunting? Nah. Major fracture detected. Automatic medical systems engaged. Morphine administered. They put this little lip there. For, that's I should have noticed that little lip. Make free use of my traps, but take care not to fall in them yourself. Behind you. In Ravenholm, you do. I'm missing more cutscene where a character just stares at me. go from here Is the crowbar the best weapon in the game? What's my favorite 2000s band? Probably the Stone Temple Pilots.
Okay, so right now I see a lot of this chat has not heard of the Stone Temple Pilots before. They're known for making unpredictable music. Can I give you an example? Yeah. One of my favorite songs is the one that goes. I wait for you like a stone. I wait for you like a stone. Key Rock, thanks for being a 28 monther. I shouldn't sing. I shouldn't sing. That activated my asthma, really. But I shouldn't sing like that. Please, no more singing requests, okay? <laughs> Just one more? No, no, that's. <laughs> that's it. No more. Do you think we can c cross over on this wire? Wobbly! It's so wobbly. Please don't wobble. Please don't wobble. Okay. I guess we can go that way. Please don't wobble. Please don't wobble. Better and better. I am Father Grigori. You have already met my congregation. <laughs> We're not missing out on that secret. We are not. We're not that kind of person. Do I listen to Nickelback? No. Nickelback is a meme band. One of the first ever meme bands. Can I sing you a Nickelback song? I guess. And they say that a hero can save us. I'm not gonna stand here and wait. I hold on to the wings of the eagles and watch as they all fly away. One of the first ever meme songs. So funny, even today. Minor 
structure detected. From what I can gather, the history goes. The Smother Brothers, Weird Al, Nickelback, and then the Jonas Brothers. Ah, it is you, the greatest meme bands of all time. But no harm done. My bullets are the least of your concern. <laughs> Strat step isn't funny. Please be nice. <laughs> I'm not strat step. <laughs> <laughs> my as you're you're making my asthma act up. <laughs> Don't call me stuff like that. I wonder if we're we have to be able to go out this window. There we go. May the snare which they do not know come to them, and may the net which they have hidden for me my place. I don't think that worked. Do I have a favorite road rules season? I think I don't know what you're talking about. Generally, the only kind of reality shows I like are competition based and romance based. As long as everyone picks the proper partners. The Bachelorette, I don't believe, is romance. The Bachelorette is two games in one. Let's say... Okay, 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 okay. Let's say you get to be on The Bachelorette. Do you want to win? The game, or do you want to, like, get married to this woman who put herself on a reality TV show? Do you really, do you, do you really want to get married? No, you're there to win, but the way to win 
is to convince this poor woman that you want to get married. So I think, you know, there's two games to be played when you're playing The Bachelorette. I don't think of it as a pure game. What is a pure game? I'll tell you too. Go and Uno. The Tour de France before they ruined it. I have never heard of Kid Nation. I've never heard of that. Is that like children? Is that like children doing a reality show? They can't. Children don't have the right minds for it. Although they call me crazy, I care not, for thou art my helper. A human being is not ready to do battle in a competitive reality show until they are at least 21 years old. So one of my favorite movies of all time, because you know I like movies about somebody making a good plan and following a proper strategy, is Home Alone. And I'm so glad I finally got to play a video game where I could throw a paint can into the face of an enemy. That was a big moment for me. That was really nice. I only like Home Alone 1. I kind of feel like it was Kevin's fault <laughs> in Home Alone 2. <laughs> so I can't really get into it. <laughs> It's hard for me it's hard for me to sympathize for him, you know? How about a competitive show based on Home Alone? Wow. That's such a good idea. Now, just as I said, a, a human mind isn't ready for a competitive reality show until it's at least 21 years old. So what we would have to do is we would have to set up the house. You can't trust an actual child to come up with a bunch of crazy traps. So we set up the house, but then you find two people who need money and you say, go steal whatever you want from this house. <laughs> you can keep, you can keep anything you want from this house. Go ahead. Go nuts. Really? And then, of course, you know, the doorknobs are too hot for your fingers. The paint can's going to hit you in the face, stuff like that.
Hey, how come that one was covered in milk? Came from the barnyard. I don't get what that means. That reference doesn't make sense to me. in a fantasy league? No. Unfortunately, I think fantasy football is a flawed game. I found it's too easy to win. So I was in a league last year. With a bunch of other people from our soccer team. And what you can do is, if there's a player who has a better team than you do, you can make trades. So I just say, I'll give you 900 scrounge bucks. if you give me your best players. And most people are happy to do it. Ever bowl before? Got a best score? Yeah, 300. Bowling's a failed game. Bowling has been solved. All you have to do is get a strike every time. I don't want to be rude, but I think bowling is for painfully simple people. If I'm being honest with you right now, I think this video game is finally good. I think it took a long time to get here, but I think this might finally be good. Who's the most cringe football player? Ronaldo. Here, brother. Come closer. You've stirred up hell. A <laughs> man after my own heart. Here, I have a more suitable gun for you. You'll need it. Catch.
From what I understand, Kyle's he's not getting his teeth whitened at a dentist. Hush. They come. There is no rest in Ravenholm. Move on and I will meet you at the church. He said he was going to the oral cosmetologist. Do you think we can make that jump? Obviously, obviously there's a monster at the end of the book. Obviously it's Grover. But it still felt nice to get that jump. I get why, you know, soft wills would be into this game. If you don't have an iron will that could take down a human mind, this is the next best thing. Have I heard of a Doc Brown spider monster? Yeah. Kyle brings those up a lot at soccer practice. I think he thinks it's a really good analogy and he uses it constantly. He seems really proud of that one. Okay, so it seems like you can also get poisoned now. I didn't realize this game would have elemental damage like Unu. That adds a whole wrinkle to strategy. So cool.
Sorry, I just had I just had a bit of asthma act up again. Did they release this part of the game as a demo before? Before the game came out, this was a demo? That's kind of crazy. This is the best part of the game so far. Do I have any pets? Yeah, I have a couple of police dogs. They don't stay at my apartment, but I have claimed them. So, like, techn technically, they're not my dogs. But they will be someday. Oh no, we can't, we can't stop, we can't stop now. We're so close. Are we close? We're not close. Yeah, I guess we'll just get to the next part. Kyle is gonna be home soon and he told me he does not want to see me. <laughs> He's a very private person. <laughs> He said, I don't, he said explicitly, I don't want to see you. this moment, I'm out of absolutely all kinds of ammo. But I have this. We have three of these. We got three of these. And I'm sorry. I In that moment, in that exact moment right then, I read somebody in chat asked me if Harry Styles spit on Gabe Newell. <laughs> Yeah. 
There we go. That helps. That helps. I mean, you can check. You can look for yourself. Go to Diddy Spit. Reddit.com slash r slash Diddy Spit. They'll answer. Make a post. Join the community. So there's lots of health up here. What did that do? No. Okay. Confirmed he did spit on Gabe Newell. I know Gabe Newell's got a lot of enemies. I'm not too surprised by that. Gabe Newell walks into the room like he's the big shit. This is a dead end. This was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. I'm out of I'm out of I'm even out of I'm even out of things to throw. Do I have a lot of enemies? Most of them are go players. Definitely some Uno players. And then a couple of guys on the soccer team. The enemies are spawning. You need to platform out of the area. Okay, I misunder. I thought this was. I thought this was like a a, a cool like horde mode that you just got to keep surviving until you kill everybody. Okay, so clearly we had to pull that lever to make something over there move. We got to get on top of that. So let's go over here. Uh, there's got to be a way up there.
Does Unu have a horde mode? No, Unu's got... It's got a build. You could basically unleash a horde upon your opponents. Of draw 30s. But it's not like a horde mode, you know? Here's a quote from Gabe Newell. I got enemies, got a lot of enemies, got a lot of enemies trying to drain me of this energy. Gabe Newell 2020 to the New Zealand Express Post. I believe it. How do we get up there? How do we get up there? There's a ladder there. So maybe it's not about getting up there, but it's about getting here. I'm a little embarrassed about that. I'm, a, I'm I paused out of sheer embarrassment. It was right there that entire at that, that entire time. It was right there. A bunch of stairs. Kyle told me if I'm an embarrassing gamer. By the way, this is where our blade landed. He said if I'm an embarrassing gamer. He's not going to pay me any scrounge coin. I promised I was going to be elite. He said his audience demands elite. What about diesel? I don't think Kyle owns any diesel. Obviously, I would prefer he pay me in diesel. Yeah, I would have streamed for six hours for three diesel. I think this is canonically a prequel to Portal. Yes. Okay, so serious question. How close are we to the end of Ravenholm? Serious question. Not very. We're still in the middle. Okay. All right, we'll stop there then. That's sad.
for the first time in this entire game, I was actually having fun. <laughs> That was that that actually became fundamentally interesting. Save it in case Kyle wants to pick up later. Uh okay. I don't think he could handle this. Look, look there's so many saves anyway. I don't know why this chat was so concerned about saves. Look how many saves there are. There's even this one from 2016. <laughs> Root Canal. I wonder if I wonder if Kyle tried playing this one time in 2016 and then gave up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, you know, you know, I like to make predictions. I, I, I like to pick up clues and develop a hypothesis. I wonder if at one point Kyle tried to play Half-Life 2 and then got bored with it. Yeah, we can load that save. Wow, he got so far. <laughs> you know what? He was probably he was probably just trying to test his graphics card. He was probably just in his defense, he was probably just trying to test his graphics card. That's probably what it was. That's all that was. Should have installed UNU. Oh, so you, UNU you don't have to install. It is on a free Flash website, but you do have to log into the dark web to get to it. I don't recommend it to the faint of heart. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun to fill in for Kyle. I had a fun stream. Thanks for having me, everybody. Um, yeah, once again, if you if you happen to get invited to Cruft, check me out. Please do subscribe. I could use some more diesel. Kyle's almost... I think I see his headlights. I think he's here. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> he made it very clear he does not want to see me. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't want to I don't want to make him mad. I already have to do this for free. That part sucks. I do know uh let me look back at this. So Kyle's going to be back Monday, which is just two days from now. He'll be back Monday, apparently, at 4 p.m. Eastern time. This was fun, everybody. Thank you. And uh, what's he playing? It doesn't his it doesn't say. Your guess is as good as mine for what he's playing on Monday.
We should probably talk him into playing some Uno. Why are you saying Outer Wilds? Hopefully something with sexy dragons? You know how I think how I think about dragons. Ew. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna mute me. I'm uh, there won't be any waving. I don't wave. That's not my thing. And uh, I hope you all have a good weekend. Have a have a safe and happy Sunday. Thanks for hanging out for today's stream. <laughs> Thanks for dealing with Half Life Two. Yes, I have. Ha how would I? Do I have hands? Yeah, obviously. How would I have played this whole game? I mean, yes, it is possible. Absolutely possible. To play with feet. So yeah, I guess I understand the question. The answer is yes, I do have hands. If you want to see them, you will have to find my OnlyFans. I didn't know you knew Kyle Bossman waved at the end of his streams. Well, yeah, it just, it does say, it says that here. He's got a little script, I guess, for what he, the way he typically likes to end a stream. It says, talk about next week's schedule, which we did. Though I get, okay, so Valkyrie Elysium is going to be on Friday. Uh, then he says, I'm going to mute myself and wave goodbye. I don't know why he has to tell you he's going to mute himself. I don't get that part. And then it just says, uh, click on the close button. And so there's like this whole video about a robot party, apparently. And then it says, go offline after Legacy Preserved. So hopefully I get all of that right uh, before he walks up the stairs. Anyway, thank you, everybody. Have a great weekend. It's a robot party. It's a robot party. It's a robot party. It's a robot party. Tie your shoes. It's a robot party. Pet the dog. It's a robot